Now, Ski Mask, water. Gotta speak on this little situation involving the boy Ski Mask calling out 6ix9ine for a very specific reason, and the late ex is actually involved in this entire thing. So, uh, yeah. Let's talk about it. No, I feel like a Gucci Ali. Brr. Ski Mask, the slump god, called out 6ix9ine after he performed Look At Me by XXXTentacion while he was doing a show in Miami. So uh, let's check out the short clip and I'll speak on it afterwards. Hey, get my dick in my bed. What? What? So, as you can see, 6ix9ine was performing Look At Me on stage, and exactly how does Ski come into the equation? Well, Ski actually dropped two comments on IG, one of them saying, nigga doing what he can, not what he want to. He also dropped this comment saying, fuck this nigga. He also put up this tweet that I think is a subliminal for sure. Random niggas that perform take a step back or look at me but only know the first three lines. Now I actually wasn't gonna talk about this. Actually you know what I feel like I say that all the time so that's definitely cap cap cap. I'm saying that because until Ski made a comment about this most people were kind of bigging up 6 9 saying wow respect to 6 9 salute for this tribute to XXXTentacion etc. From what I could see it just created a lot of unnecessary confusion between the fans because obviously in a case like this, if Ski Mask comes out the cut and says, hey, I don't mess with this, I don't co-sign this, we're all gonna take a step back and ask ourselves, hmm, why is, why is that? What am I missing here? And just to state the obvious, as we all know, Ski was X's best friend. I mean, they were inseparable. So whatever Ski says in a case like this, that goes. But why does Ski Mask diss 6 9 for this though? I mean, it does seem like an innocent tribute, doesn't it? First of all, let's actually get this out of the way. Maybe there's something behind the scenes that's happened, maybe involving the late X, 6 9 and Ski that we simply don't know about. That's something I just want to put out there. But the second thing I want to say regarding this is, guys, we're talking about 6 9 here, okay? Anything, okay? Anything 6 9 does has the right to be questioned. I don't care what that thing is. And it's unfortunate to say that because I like giving people the benefit of the doubt. But when it comes to Takashi, he's just done so many things, man. Said so many disrespectful things, disrespected everyone dead or alive. Anything 6 9 does is always gonna raise suspicion because we're gonna ask ourselves, is he doing this from a place of genuineness? Or is there maybe some kind of ulterior motive at play here? And maybe is he using this as a way to get his name out there? Another thing I wanna bring up is the fact that 6 9 was performing in Miami and where was X from? Miami. Why is this relevant? Because one reason 6 9 could have went through with this treatment is just to get on the good side of the crowd. You know, he's performing in Miami, X is from Miami, his city obviously had mad love for the man. 6 9 is on stage performing X's first hit record. It kind of sets the tone for the crowd automatically messing with Takashi's performance even though they may not be a fan of him. For obvious reasons, there could be a million reasons why someone really wouldn't be a fan of 6 9 He's done so many clout-infused antics, right? That's the reality of it. And also, I want you to keep in mind that just in case you didn't know, this was actually not a 6ix9ine concert. This was a festival that Takashi was performing at. The festival was called Triller Fest and here's the poster. I'm bringing that up because a lot of people might look at this and say, well, if all those people in that crowd paid to see 6ix9ine perform, how is him performing Look At Me by X really gonna make any difference? I mean, they did go to the show to see 6ix9ine perform, right? And again, I repeat, it was a festival, right? It wasn't a 6ix9ine concert and I say that because maybe an extremely small percentage of all the people who showed up actually came there to see 6 ix 9 Specifically. And that brings me to the fact that there is actually an incentive here as an ulterior motive to go through with a tribute for X and possibly mask that as pure when it may be the complete opposite. And obviously Ski Mask, I think it's safe to assume he saw this tribute as a facade and not genuine, hence to why he called him out. So in this case, for Ski Mask to be upset about this, it actually holds some weight. Keep in mind, Ski Mask is from Miami, right? And 6 9 is on stage in his city performing his deceased friend's song for what? As a tribute? that could very much be the case. But then again, we're talking about 6 9 and anything he does is out of pure self-interest and his track record validates that. I'm not saying you can't pay homage to X. I mean, that's definitely not something I'm even trying to do. At the end of the day, it is a very good cause, which that would make me a very irrational human being. But we do have to look at who we're dealing with here, what they're known for doing, how they're known for moving, only because since they have a pattern of conducting themselves in this kind of manner, that makes us questioning the motives in a case like this, 
that makes it completely sane. And when it's being questioned by someone from the inside, Ski, that does make our distrust towards 6 ix 9 in this situation grow even more. Also, a lot of people have been saying 6 ix 9 and X were friends. Why is Ski mad? Let me clarify something regarding that. Just because you have a couple DMs back and forth with someone doesn't make you their friend. I'm referring to these messages right here that 6 9 posted when X passed away. And as you can see, X was looking out for Takashi, telling him to never let his guard down, giving him general advice and motivation to stay on his P's and Q's and whatnot. This is what happens when you're an artist like 6 9 man. People will generally speak and have a hard time trusting your intentions. I'm all for anyone doing good. And to be quite honest, since I don't know 6 9s true intentions, I can't speak on that. All I can do is call it like I see it. And what I'm saying is I can't blame Ski Mask. Like I said earlier, there might be something we don't know for sure that made Ski go off like this. And on top of that, if 6 9 really wanted to show love to X, I think he would have invited some of his people, maybe even Ski just for that moment, make it more about giving back to his loved ones by sharing the stage with them instead of this strictly being about you trying to, you know, possibly set the tone for your performance by possibly getting the crowd on your side with the help of Look At Me. At the end of the day, it looks like Ski Mask called out 6 9 because he most likely feels like that little tribute wasn't genuine at all. And the question I want to ask you is, can you really blame him? Food for thought. But yeah, the boy Ski Master Slump God calls out 6 9 for performing Look At Me on stage. What do you think about this? Definitely let me know in the comment section below and we'll subscribe to this.